Yeah. Oh gosh, they're they're at their 10 a.m. position. I I was sleeping and my alarm clock uh, was going off uh -huh. and freeze. Forget to mention, as Steve gets closer to the reason why he's late to work, we can encourage him by snapping. Uh, if he's got it, we can clap for him. Uh, cool. Unfreeze. So yeah, you know, just uh, was sleeping, and then uh, my alarm clock didn't really go off. And you know, it's like, I was looking at it like, yeah. hey, you were supposed to go off like a long time ago. Right. And then, and then. What I is going on back there? I, I dropped my contact. <laughs> it just fell right out. I got a flashlight to try to help them find it. Okay. Uh, yeah. It, it's really dark in here. Where did it go? We gotta get some more new. Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right. Well, I know you're late to work at a new film. Uh, but listen, uh, I also have known you for a long time and know that you usually wake up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Right. So right. if your alarm just didn't work, you'd probably still get here on time. Right. So I, 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 I had to walk my dog. Um, <laughs> And it, it really didn't go well, you know? <laughs> the dog was, just took, took forever. <laughs> you know, it's like, I can't go do my business until the dog What goes. is going on? <laughs> I'm trying to remember where I left He's my laptop. He's so angry about it. <laughs> Where's my laptop? You better figure it out. Keep working away at that there. Where's my laptop? <laughs> Alright, fine, so your dog wouldn't do its thing, but that's probably still like, what, 6 o'clock in the morning? We haven't started work yet then. Right, yeah, so, you know, my dog wasn't doing his business, and then that took a while. I had to then walk back to the house after just the normal walking, and then, you know, I, I was driving, and then uh, someone, my passenger, that I picked up what to get into the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I just remembered where I put that laptop! <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Right. Cool. Nice. Uh, so, so, yeah, you know, uh, I, I pick up hitchhikers so I can ride in the carpool lane. Uh, <laughs> and then a meteor... Oh. The meteor, yeah. Did you yeah. scoop out the Anoop in the inside? <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. 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 Come on into work. All right, thanks. Yeah. All right, the next game we have for you is called Moving Bodies. And for this, we're going to need two of our ensemble members out here. And from the audience, we are going to need two volunteers. Two volunteers. Yes, oh, great. you man. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. One more. You don't have to talk. No, no, no. You don't have to say anything. Don't have to say anything. One more person. Come on. Anybody. Any other? Yes, yes, sir. Lenita. Lenita and Doug. Doug. Nice to meet you, Doug. Another big round of applause for Lenita. Okay, so in this game, John, Michael, and Steve are going to be doing a scene, just, you know, regular everyday scene. Uh, the twist is that Doug and Anita are going to be moving their bodies for them. John, Michael, and Steve cannot move. They are like puppets and marionettes. So here, just go behind them. And um, so if you want John Michael's arm to move, you've got to move it yourself. If you want him to go get a cup of coffee, you have to tap his leg to make him walk and move his arm to pick up the coffee and drink it. Um, so great, wonderful. Um, and they're going to be talking. John Michael, you can Yeah, great, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so uh, to get these two started out, could I get a suggestion of a relationship? A dog and a cat. A dog and a cat. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ding dong. Oh, the door. Ding I'll dong. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> ding dong. 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 Oh. Hello. Hey there, Sylvester. How's it going? <laughs> uh, how are you, Odie? I'm doing well. <laughs> I left Arbuckle back at the ranch. That's cool. Why don't you come in? Oh, I'd love to. To the heart of my house. <laughs> uh, 
I'd love to be able to see you. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right here. You look great, right, Sylvester. Crawling through my house. I just love it. Did you read that correct? Yes. I just love looking at my luxuriously decorated house. That looks like catnip over there. Yes, welcome. Thank you. And me. 